the new year is upon us and now that last start with happy new year and welcome thank you for stopping by but straight to why you are here you want to know how to set goals you want to know how to set financial goals you want to know how to set goals for your life goals are very important because they serve as a guideline they serve as a go um a go-to they serve as a sort of direction for you in different aspects of your life so it is very important for you to write down goals and look at ways to achieve them so in this particular video i'm going to be showing you how to set your goals most importantly how to set your financial goals even though money is not everything it is a very important aspect of everybody's life because when you start stressing about money the quality of your life can drastically reduce because money controls a whole lot of other things so stick with me and i'm going to be showing you ways how why timelines on how to set your goals so come with me let's move straight into why you are here Okay, moving straight into where we're here how to set your financial goals for 2022 i'm going to show you guys how i set my own financial goals for the year but before we dive straight into setting my financial goals i'm going to be showing you guys how i set my goals even though there are spiritual social impact academics um lifestyle all of that i make sure that i follow through with some processes to make sure that i am able to follow through with these goals i'm able to achieve them over and over again so i always make sure to include my why why am i setting my goals i make sure to include my how how do i intend to achieve these goals and i put a timeline to it usually i put a timeline to all of my goals so that makes it easier for me to be able to um, follow through and most importantly i try to envision possible challenges because you really cannot tell how things would go life is one beautiful journey and there are always things that come up on the way side by side so let's move straight into my financial goals for 2022 so my first goal for this year my your personal finance girl my first goal for this year is to increase my sources of income i want to have at least two sources of income so by the end of 2022 i want to have at least two sources of income so answering the question why why do i why this is goal one why do i want to have two sources of income so that i can foot my bill So basically, we all need money. <laughs> yes, and having more than one source of income is a very, very important thing. So one of the reasons why I need to have two sources of income so, is that, so I can fill my bills. And number two is so that I can be more comfortable at school. More comfortable at school. And this is my final year. I'm going to be having a lot of expenses. I'm going to be doing my, my research. I'm going to be having my tests. And it's going to be a whole lot. And then by second semester, where the whole drama, dress up, and all of that, I want to be able to do that comfortably without breaking the bank. So that is why I want to have more than one source of income so that I do not stress myself financially. And let, let me add my how here. How do I intend to do that? So I've already updated my CV as at um, 5th of January. 6th of January, so I'm going to be applying for job roles. For job roles, I'm already on the lookout, so I can check for um, remote job roles I am going to be applying for. And apart from that, I'm also going to be um, taking my business more seriously. Yes, taking business very, very serious this year. So, my timeline on when to have my new job. So, the timeline to achieve my having at least two sources of income is the first quarter of 2022. I want to get this job, I need to get like one job and take my business more seriously as at the first quarter of 2022. So this is like three, four months, um, 
time span i'm giving myself to do this so another thing i'm looking i would look at are my possible challenges so like i mentioned earlier i'm in my final year of my i'm in final year of school and the only thing i can basically think about that will be stopping me from getting at least two sources of income right now is schoolwork it could get really hectic because i'm going to be doing my tests my research starts from my first semester there are two more semesters for me so my research starts from my first semester and then i know as soon as i resume school in january i have um defense i have reports to make then normal school work and then lots and lots of practicals so these are the only this is basically the only challenge i can see that could help slow down my goal for this year and this particular goal so i would be moving to my second goal so this same page i'm moving to my second goal for 2022 the next thing i want to do in 2022 is to double my savings so I was able to save not a lot, as much as I would have loved to in 2021. And I'm looking at doubling my savings and investments, the value of my savings and investment. And that would mean I am going to be saving and investing over 500,000 naira. Cause I was just, this was as much as half of what I was able to gather up as our last year. And in order for me to do that and let me let me let me move back to my why why do i want to double my savings and investment number one it will keep me it will help me be more um secured i i am a strong believer of having emergency funds having sinking funds i'm a strong believer of saving basically and if you're able to save as much as possible during the rainy days you have things you have um, a basket or a blankets to fall back to and then investing it means that i'm sending my money to work for me so i have more in my I'm, I'm going to be having more in my basket to pick from so number two reason it, another reason why i want to increase my investment is so that my money can start working for me so my money starts working for me like it's a very beautiful um scenario i, I received dividend last year and it was really really nice to see that okay oh, i sent out just a few dollars and i got back much more just by doing nothing and that interest i got the dividend i got was just from was not even the increase in the price of the stocks i got so i would made profit in dividend i would made profit in the rise of the value of the stock so that my money can start working for me so how so another my goals are sort of interdependent so how am i going to achieve this by getting more income sources and two apart from getting probably a job or a side hustle um how am i going to achieve saving more money being disciplined And number three, following a budget. So I am making this so lucid so that by the time you want to write out your own goals, it is going to be very easy for you to follow through with this sort of structure. So my timeline for this particular goal, since it is interdependent, is going to be 12 months. In 12 months, I want to be able to achieve this. And if I break it down further, it means that I'm going to be dividing what I want to save, the amount of what I want to save, which I wrote as um, 500,000 to dividing it by six, um, dividing it by 12 to get how much I'm supposed to save or invest every single month. So I'm going to do that later on, but I'm sure you understand the gist. So my timeline is going to be 12 months. I want to achieve this in the next 12 months. I'm going to come back and talk about this in the next 12 months. Um, then let's move to the possible challenges okay, so my possible challenge for this is um, not being disciplined and also not having not ending basically so let me not use too much of words not ending so that is the only challenge I can practically see right now so discipline and earning is going to make that make sure that my dream comes true <laughs> my goals are achieved basically so another thing i want to i want to um 
do this year for my financial goals i basically will just be writing three or four goals so i'm not swamped because it's all financial goals i'm going to have educational goals i'm going to have personal development goals and i do not want to end up having to do so many things at the same time or stress myself so I'm okay so my third goal for 2022 is to prioritize my business then build a community for ypfg yes so how do i intend to prioritize my business why do i want to prioritize my business basically so it serves as a source of income in the long run so we're looking at 2022 2023 and all of that another reason why i need to prioritize my business and build a community is that um talking about personal finance is one thing i enjoy so this is more or less like me doing what i absolutely love it comes very very easy to me it comes it comes um easy for me. And so, so easy to, for, um, to me to teach about personal finance knowing that there are a lot of people that have issues with saving investing budgeting i don't see any reason why i shouldn't be doing it so basically it is a very 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 important aspect for me so how do i intend to how do I intend to do this? So this is goal number three. How do I intend to do this? So number one is that I am going to make sure I'm going to be more intentional about my content, about creating content, reaching out to people in ways that they want to hear, how it is easy, um, making sure that whatever i'm posting is useful to everyone so basically if i'm more intentional if i create more content it means that i am prioritizing my business and another way to um how i want to achieve this is to show up more Where am I going to be showing up? I'm going to be showing up on social media, on all my social media. So basically, I am on every social media um, that you can find. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm here on YouTube. I have a podcast. There's WhatsApp where most of our, our um, conversation happened. And there's um, Instagram. Yeah, Instagram is thriving. Our Instagram... Um, following and activities are, are thriving and then there's also telegram telegram is there because it's going to help all of us stay together on whatsapp it's we, we can't have more than 256 people in a group but telegram allows us to grow in numbers so i'm going to be showing up on all of my social media more and more so expect me so this is how i intend to prioritize my business this year so another timeline this is going to be a very wide timeline considering that i have other things that i do i have other things that are calling my attention most importantly for me in 2022 is my final year and then business and and also getting a job being able to um, pay my bills and all of that so i'm going to be leaving this open to 12 months also so that i'm very sure that i am not choking myself these goals will end up being divided into quarterly goals into monthly goals and weekly goals so that it is measurable and i'm accountable to myself and to whoever my accountability partner would be and then possible challenges so the only possible challenge i can see for this particular goal is loss of motivation yes there is something called loss of motivation and it's an actual thing so Hopefully, I do not lose motivation. I do not get tired. Um, this is the only possible challenge I could see. There could be challenges of funding because it's not. It's definitely not free to get um, filming equipment. It's not free to run ads. It's not free to continue speaking, traveling, and all of that. So another possible challenge that I could face from prioritizing my business and building a community is um funding another thing is another possible challenge is not being able to manage a loan so then i'll need to expand at that time i'm definitely going to expand oh i forgot to mention um setting up my blog yes having a blog this year is one of my goals so i'm, I'm going to add that to my goals because it's one of the things i am trying to avoid being accountable to accountable yeah i'm trying to avoid accountability when it comes to my blog i already have my domain name so 
yes i'm just gonna put here as blog another financial goal yes setting up a blog is a financial goal because at the end of the day in pushing out content in one year two years i'm definitely going to monetize and there's no overnight success if you know very well there is nothing like an overnight success so being able to set up my blog this year i feel like i'm going to be ready for 2023 2024 and more years to come so i would want to answer my questions why i just answered that already but let me just put it in okay so i'm getting ready for for expansion so basically my domain where i'm going to be setting up my blog is not just going to be like a blog thing it's also going to be a website that is going to host everything that i have so all of my content is going to be equally distributed amongst all social media platform being repurposed refurbished to fit every particular platform i did not mention twitter so twitter is also going to be um, one of my social medias i'm going to be using so from time to time i'm going to be moving um content and being and rich people just how they want to be rich and why do I need a blog to for expansion too as another source of income? So when I'm putting it as another source of income here, I'm not looking at it as a source of income right now for 2022. I'm thinking future. So how do I want to do how do I want to achieve this? How number one is going to be setting up setting up the website. Yeah. And another thing is putting up content. So I've actually noticed that I have a whole lot of content, a whole lot of write-ups, but they are just in my notepad, my Google Keep, my Google Docs. All of them are just sitting down there, not doing anything, not reaching out to people that they're supposed to reach. So this is something I'm going to be very intentional about since it is, it is a very good um, vision for my brand. So I'm going to be doing that also. Another thing is the timeline for having to set up my blog. So this particular one, I'm going to put up for six months. I already have a few articles. I already have content. I already have topics that I've done research about. So I'm just supposed to repurpose it to, to make it a blog post and post online. And of course, I'm supposed to set up the website. So as soon as my website, website has been set up, all I have to do is just keep publishing. So number, I'm, I'm going to be moving to possible challenges. One of the challenges for the blog is not being consistent. Another thing that could be a challenge for the blog is not setting up the website. So I'm definitely going to be getting help. And when I get help, if I do not get help, of course, I can't set it up. But when I get help, I need to then take over from wherever the person is going to to tell me to so this is basically the challenge not being consistent and not setting up the website so this is just about the size of my financial goals for 2022 and i do hope that with this few points of mine you'll be able to set up your own financial goals for 2022 so mine is pretty um easy straightforward and yes this is pretty easy and straightforward. So with the method I have used, showing you how, why, the timeline, possible challenges, I hope that you were able to set up your goals. And let me know in the comments if you ended up sitting down to set up your goals, if you were able to finish up, if you're able to set timelines, if you had challenges, and then if you need more help from me, of course, I'm more than willing to help to walk you through doing this. So thanks for watching this video. Do not forget to, or. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends, family, frenemies, so that they can also do something worthwhile with their time.